Welcome. Today we're gonna talk about animals that start with K. Please subscribe for more amazing videos. King Cobra. It's the only snake that builds a nest for its eggs. They have enough venom in their bite to kill an elephant. This reptile raises the top half of its body and expands its hood when it feels endangered. Humans are its only predators. A group of king cobras is called a quiver. A king cobra is an animal with a smooth body that is covered in yellow, brown, green, and black scales. It has a chevron pattern of color running down the back of its neck. Some king cobras are leucistic. Komodo dragon. The Komodo dragon is a large species of lizard that is only found on a handful of islands in the Indonesian archipelago. The Komodo dragon is an enormous reptile that can grow up to 3 meters long and weigh 150 kilograms. They are incredibly strong and powerful with long, thick bodies, short, muscular legs. The Komodo dragon is a solitary and powerful predator that roams a territory which is dependent on the individual size, with the average adult covering a distance of around 2 kilometers every day. Kangaroo The name kangaroo was adapted into English from the aboriginal term ganguru. This was a gugu yimithir word that specifically referred to the eastern grey kangaroo. Despite their important status in the Australian culture, these animals are still harvested for their skin and meat. These body parts are made into rugs, clothing, and even pet food. The evidence suggests that marsupials may have evolved the hopping ability some 20 million years ago, but it wasn't until the expansion of grasslands across Australia some 3 to 5 million years ago that kangaroos really began to spread. Kiwi The kiwi bird first evolved some 30 million years ago, which makes it one of the oldest types of birds still living. The kiwi has a lower body temperature than any known bird. The female kiwi bird is one of the few birds with a functioning pair of ovaries. Most birds only have a single ovary. One of the more amazing facts is that the kiwi has a highly developed sense of smell. It is the only bird in the world with nostrils at the tip of the bill. If the nostrils become filled with dirt, then the kiwi can deliberately sneeze to remove the obstructions. Kinkajou the name Kinkaju, pronounced Kinkaju, actually comes to us from a native Algonquian word for the wolverine. The Algonquian people lived in North America, but the French took the word and adapted it for its current use. The Kinkaju is also known as the night ape, night walker, and honey bear. Their call is so loud that some people call it La Llorona, which means crying woman in Spanish. The Kinkaju is only one of two species in the order Carnivora with a prehensile tail. The other species is the unrelated Vincheron. The tongue of the Kinkajou is about 5 inches long, which is quite large in proportion to its body size. Koala The koala would have once been widespread throughout southeastern Australia and on a number of its surrounding islands, but populations, particularly in the south, were wiped out in some areas due to hunting. They are however, surprisingly resilient and adaptable animals that are known to inhabit various types of forest from the tall eucalyptus forests. The koala is a solitary and nocturnal animal that spends most of the daytime hours sleeping in the fork of a eucalyptus tree. Their low-energy diet, that is comprised only of the fibrous leaves of the eucalyptus, leads to koalas leading a largely inactive lifestyle as they can happily spend up to 18 hours a day sleeping or simply just sit in the trees to conserve energy. Kookaburra The kookaburra's call sounds like laughter. Kookaburras are part of the forest kingfishers subfamily. Unlike other kingfisher species, the kookaburra does not hunt fish. Kookaburras are known to steal food from snakes. Unlike many other bird species, kookaburras are not migratory. They occupy the same territory year-round. They do not fly south for the winter. Instead, they huddle together for warmth. They are able to regulate their temperature quite well. Krill The krill fish isn't a social species in the same sense as many birds and mammals. Nevertheless, they travel together in massive groups called swarms for protection. These swarms regularly migrate between the deeper waters in the daytime and shallower waters in the nighttime. Some swarms are so large that they're actually visible on satellite images. The krill move from place to place by floating along the ocean currents. 
When they encounter a predator, the krill can make a hasty escape by swimming rapidly backwards at a pace of around 10 body lengths per second. This is trick known as lobstering. Thank you for checking this video. If you wish to give your opinion, please comment below, we'd love to hear from you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time.